Okay, let's get a game started. Custom. Get a game. Oh, we gotta get dudded up in our colors here. Make this team, not team armies. Uh, I need to pick another map if I want to change game mode here. How about, oh god, this is PAX, 6 to 10 players. Here we are. Let's uh, let's just throw in some bots. We'll do a little comp stomp and see how that goes. Make them team red. Okay, are we ready to go? Yep. Gotta wait for the planets to build. Okay, I'm built, you're built, and game start. Select starting location. God, decisions, decisions. Where do we want to start? I want to start on this lush ocean planet here, little island. Just start right smack in the middle of there. Boop. Initiating landing sequence. Mm. Annihilate everything. Hey. My commander down and probably start on my economy right away. Um, actually, not gonna do me any good to have metal fab when I don't have a factory yet. So I should probably do that first. here. Where have, uh, where have you started, Jason? I'm on the same planet as you. Okay, cool. I'm just north. We probably want to go orbital pretty quick so we can, uh, we can start spreading our love around to the other planets. Radar up. Uh oh, I have teleported. That's kind of tricky. Here we go. I am experiencing some things right now. up some primitive defenses here. Got anything going on on that side of the world? Here we go. And the beginnings of our navy are starting to roll off the production line. We're in very dire need of energy. Um, mm -hmm. That energy production going. There we go. 
Spy plane. They've got air tech. Mm -hmm. I am not very efficient. You can tell it's my first playthrough in this uh in this new patch. All right, let's see here. More energy. Built. Oh, that's because I accidentally built energy storage instead of energy <laughs> in my infinite wisdom. Clearly, I have made some bad decisions. All right. There we go. Now that I'm actually building power plants, this should start going more smoothly. I'm going to go toggle on infinite mode. I think that's a new feature, or at the very least it's a feature that I'm newly aware of. So this might change the way the game plays a little bit. Have we, uh, have we been able to nail down... Ah, okay. They are... Let me see if I can ping. Ping. Is there a ping? Do you know where I can find a ping? I actually? can't. I don't recall what it is. There is one, though, right? Mm-hmm. I think there's one. Oh, I found their base. I would ping it, but I'm in the middle of something. <laughs> oh, I built a destroyer. That was a good time for that, actually. Any commander detected. The destroyer looks like, yeah, it's got some ship-to-ship -ship guns, so I should be able to bombard those little... Oh god, they are going orbital. If you can bomb their orbital, that might be a good idea. User joined your channel. Hello, friend. Yeah, I guess I'm a friend, sort of. Oh, don't be so hard on yourself, Sam. So many years. I am playing Planetary Annihilation Titans. It's like Planetary Annihilation, but for real this time. Oh. See if I can't intensify firepower on that uh, on that orbital. See if I can't stop them from getting to space. I don't think they've gotten to space yet. Oh dear. Uh, we've got a heavy infestation on this other continent as well. I'm going to try out one of the new units that they've just added. The Lob. 
It's a little short-range artillery piece that fires assault bots. So I think this is going to be pretty effective for, uh, for suppressing the enemy's ability to spread out right now. So the first thing I probably want to do is fortify the yeah, site yeah. where I'm going to be building it. So I'll build a couple of flat cannons, a couple of advanced laser defenses, and then take my lob and kind of plump it down in the middle there. There we go. I only can build a couple of them. Meantime, make sure my economy's going strong. Build a couple more advanced energy plants. And some storage. Okay. My navy was able to take out one of their bases. We are very quickly running out of mass, so it's time to start building advanced metal extractors. Okay. As those advanced metal extractors start to go up, that will, uh, that will help us maintain some staying power. We do have quite the fleet. Getting that advanced battleship out there has uh, made a pretty big difference in our total, um, you know, combat ability. So, just... Oh god, we're having orbital dogfights already. Uh, it's possible that this enemy has already fled to another planet, so... That is something that we're going to have to be cognizant of. Get this, uh, this guy to start assisting his buddy over here. They're materializing these structures. See, what, all, what other toys do we have to play with? Advanced Torpedo Launcher. I might want one of the... No, you know what? I've got naval superiority. It's unlikely I'm going to find myself in a situation where I need a Torpedo Launcher. Um, that battleship, though. I wish it would go broadside. Here, let me see if I can bring it broadside so it'll bring all its guns to bear. There we go! That's what's up. You gotta micro these guys a little bit if you really want them to do their, do their business. Alright. That's all the advanced fabbers I think we're going to need. Okay, uh, well, it's time to begin assault drone bombardment here. I think this weapon might take a second to come online properly. Oh, I might not have the resources necessary to fire it. Fix that. The graphics are, are very blocky and cartoony, but very pleasant to look at. The game looks very good, and with its uh, its pretty simple, mystic direction. I can't get these guys to fire. I think it's because I'm... No, I'm not out of resources anymore. I've got plenty of resources. Attack.
Okay, so maybe now that I've selected fire at will... Uh, fire at will. Attack. Got this to work in the tutorial, but right now... It's not doing. Let's see how my navy's... Oh, God. My navy is... Just pumping right out. Um... Sail all these ships over here. Another battleship. That'll be good. Take all these idle fabbers. Build an advanced radar. Ragnarok. Uh, destroys the planet it's built on. Hmm. Maybe that's not what I need right now. I wish this lob would do whatever it's supposed to be doing. Um, you know, I should probably be concerned about enemy nukes at this point in the game, so I'm going to build a couple of anti-nuke silos. Have these finally woken up from nap time? Hey, uh, Jason, have you been able to get mm -hmm. the lobs to function? Uh, I haven't shot them yet. Oh, I think I see part of the problem. I don't think you can fire them uh, over a change in elevation. I think you have to fire them at the same elevation as the launcher. Interesting. Oh dear, here we go. Enemy detected. Oh, very serious business. Find a place for my family to live. So, had to take that call. Alright, let's uh, keep going here. I am sieging the enemy land base. Oh, uh, I think the game's over. Mm -hmm. These destroyers are hovercrafts, so they will just hover over the ground. I'm back. Hello. Welcome it's back! Me. We are playing Planetary Annihilation, only this time it's real. What? Uh, they released everything that we thought Planetary Annihilation was going to be in the Kickstarter as a expansion. Oh. So now it's uh, amazing. Do we get it? Yeah. <laughs> for free? If you bought the Kickstarter, more? yes. You got it for free. I don't know if I bought the Kickstarter. Ooh, uh, you may or may not have it for free. If you're patching Planetary Annihilation right now, though, it's probably... I am, but I haven't played it in a while, so we'll see. Okay, okay, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, one of the beauties of streaming is no one knows whether or not you are wearing pants at any given time. 
So I'm going to go ahead and put on pants, and everybody can just rest easily, knowing that I am actually wearing them. But I'll be right back. <laughs> Did they legitimately just release a second game? Um, it's a standalone expansion. What? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like Forged Alliance, as it were. But why? Because they could. If you already own the base game, but you want a backer, uh -huh. I think you get it at a 66% discount. But if you are a okay. backer, then you get it for free. I don't think I was a backer. I'm kind of wondering if I'm happy or not that I'm not a backer, because this is kind of a really strange business decision. But if you are a backer, then you already have the game. You have the expansion. I have I returned! Think. Yeah, the, uh, the expansion right now is on Steam. Um, Why isn't it part of the base game, though? I don't know. I don't know exactly what the logic behind doing this is. It might be that the Planetary Annihilation reviews from the Alpha and Beta phases are pretty unfavorable, and so they kind of want to have a new entry so that it has its own reviews, so they don't have to worry about the reviews of the last game. But if you don't have the update, it's currently on sale mm -hmm. right now for $13. Mm -hmm. And, uh, it's kind of amazing. So, I can give I mean, you a copy. No, I, I can get it. The only thing is, if I couldn't afford it right now, I would be very cross with this dev team. Yeah, that's a good point. Well, I mean, there, it looks like it's, uh, it's for 13 bucks until October 18th. So, that's an entire okay. month. Two months. To scrape together the cash. So can I buy this and then get a refund for the other game that isn't real anymore? That's a good question. Um, <laughs> wait, I think it's supposed to be a full standalone, so I don't see any reason why you couldn't get a refund. So I could buy this and then ask Steam for a refund for that because, quote, it's not a real game anymore. Huh. This is the real game. Ha! Huh. Well, I bet you can probably still play it without the, uh, expansion. It's probably not like a Blizzard thing, where, like, the expansion supersedes uh, the normal game content, yeah. and you can never play that content again. You can probably still go back and play... Let me look at... Let me see... Why would I want to? Yeah, you can go back and you can play Vanilla Planetary Annihilation, but okay. that's a very good question. Why would you want to, when they've just released all of the content? Um, yeah, it shows up in my inventory as Kickstarter gift. Um, pretty good. So I'm going to have to re-download the whole game anyway. Hello, Dinkle! We are playing Planetary Annihilation Titans. Uh, the download was only a handful of megs. Let me see. Local files. Oh, it was 2.9 gigs. Okay. Um, I suppose, depending on how you're looking at it, that's a handful of megs. Uh, yeah. Thanks, guy. <laughs> so, I'm going to install this. I'm going to delete the old game, because that's just a waste of hard drive space. Um, that's a really good point. I should probably do the same, because that's just eating up hard drive space right now. Oh. Uh, that caused some sort of error to occur. Ooh. Maybe it uses the vanilla game file still? <sighs> if it does, then maybe they should fix their shit. Yeah, maybe. 21 new combat units, including the Titan class, a bounty hunter game mode, new multi-level terrain and planets. Oh, that's what I was running into earlier with the lob. They've made a smaller tactical version of the unit cannon that only fires assault bots called the lob. And uh, I was attempting to use it to siege an enemy's base on a plateau, but the lob can only fire at other it land targets on the same level as it. So it can't fire up, if that makes any sense. 
Um, so I couldn't get the units up on top of the ledge. I had to like land them on the shore and then march them up there. Which is fine. You just gotta figure out that that's what you have to do. This game looks like a really, really fun, chaotic space RTS. It's uh, it's very much the spiritual successor to uh, Supreme Commander. Um, hmm. So if you played that, yeah, it's Morse, like it is Supreme Commander. <laughs> yeah, it's Supreme Commander with a much better UI. Um, <laughs> basically, that that only sounds like a good thing. It is a very good thing. Just if you get it, um, make sure you get the right game. Oh yeah, you have to get Titans, because that's the standalone expansion, and if you get vanilla, you'll be sad. Though I don't... It's a standalone expansion to a game that wasn't finished. Yeah. <laughs> this is an interesting so, thing so... in the hierarchy of... of I wish uh... we knew some devs just to be like, what? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, we do know some devs, and I'm pretty sure I mean, this... that they would be as confused as we are. <laughs> I don't know. The boss man said do, so we did. I like the art style of the game. Uh, like yeah, the yeah. The art is, is really nifty. I just was commenting earlier that everything is very blocky and simple, but it still has a very distinct uh, aesthetic appeal to it. Let me go. Planetary Annihilation, Local Files... Yeah, I'm looking the at Local Planetary Files are the same. Titans I'm going to experimentally turn off uh, Planetary Annihilation Titans, and delete the vanilla content, and see if I can still play the expansion. And that will... Did, what, what if you, like, did microtransactions? It has micro... You, you can buy commanders with for did five that bucks. Carry, does that carry over to Titans? I think so, yes. Okay. I believe that it does. Or, no, it doesn't. You have to rebuy them. Mm, that would just be so good. <laughs> that would be how to make money. Uh, yeah, so you can just you can just buy Titans, and you don't even need to own Planetary Annihilation, as far as I know. I'm so very confused. It's it's real. I might legitimately ask Steam for a refund on the old game and say this isn't a game anymore. Mm. It is files. Sounds about right. An old beta client that's taking up space. <laughs> Not money. <laughs> so, so the person gave this thing not recommend with point one hours. The first two words of the review: good game. Uh, okay. the cognitive but he's dissonance down. is real. He's, he's not recommending it because his computer can't run it. Yeah, uh, that. yeah, that's good. And he's like, it's the same game as Planetary Annihilation, so I'm refunding it. Uh, well, that's good. I'm not recommend. That's fine. Just don't play with those extra twenty six units. Okay, like, you right. didn't need those anyways, right? Right, right. I mean, who needs? I mean, if if you're gonna who play Command half Conquer, the game who, content, who needs a whole other faction? I mean, right, not exactly. Me. Not me. <laughs> okay, I'm uh, I'm creating a new game here. I wish it would save my colors. It's not... it doesn't want to. <laughs> this review. If you like this game, you'll like it. If you don't like this game, you won't like it. Uh, not recommended. Re recommend. <laughs> recommend, not recommend. What if you could just give, like, a mixed review? I recommend that you do not recommend this game. <laughs> Basically, is what I'm hearing. I've, I've read reviews like that, where, like, the overall... Re like, the final review was a do not recommend, or does not recommend. But everything they said about the game was positive, but their ultimate decision was like, this game's not for everybody, so I don't recommend it. Uh, what game is... What game is for everybody? Tell me. I would like to know this. Battletoads? Battletoads. Okay. Battletoads. Tetris. Yeah, yeah, actually, that's Actually, good. okay, that's good. Pac-Man Pac is pretty good. Uh, so any well okay that <laughs> game is for people who are a special brand of autistic savant those those are the ikaruga isn't for everyone it's for people with the skills of everyone um maybe it's it's for people that are really good at doing things faster than the human eye can see them <laughs> i know i was really really good at 
Raiden 2, which is one of the more difficult shmups out there. This guy recommended my, it because no one's and I making actually, RTSs um, anymore. If I remember correctly, he and I got you see, where can within I the find top the ten high scores of like the two player Go to of that store game. Page. We are going to play Let's Read Steam Reviews. Hold on. Store page. On um, Titan? I'm going to try it. <laughs> well, maybe I'll wait till Titans is installed, and then I'll be like, give money, Valve. Give money, Valve. I know I've played this for 15 hours, but it's not a game anymore, so your rules are invalid. All right, here's the first Steam review <laughs> for... Uh... Planetary I got a re uh, refund on uh, this is... Call to Arms. Did you? Yeah. On what All basis? Right. So they completely split their player base right down the middle with the digital deluxe package. Uh huh. It gives you multiplayer content that you don't get if you just buy the base game. So I was like, I'm going to play with you, Colin. And Colin's like, okay, let's do this campaign co-op. And I was like, I don't have campaign on my menu. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, so um, I couldn't play it with him. So I got a refund. Yeah, that sounds about I'll right. I'll just buy the game when it's finished. <laughs> All right, here we go. We are going to play Let's Read Steam Reviews. This is going to be super fun, everybody. I promise. Let's see here. There's some really good games for Steam reviews. I'm just not, not recommended. This is the game you should have had when they labeled Planetary Annihilation finished. It's a great game and all, rather much like vanilla, but with extra units. For this reason, it gets a negative <laughs> review from me. Crap business <laughs> ethics and outright unfairness distributed throughout the community. Stick with vanilla. This I'm gonna is read from the Brass. I'm gonna Thank read you, the Brass, for your insightful, your insightful look into business ethics. It's unethical to release content updates. This is the more you know. All right, we've got Sakura Blue. He says not recommended. Titans introduces new planets, some updates, and a whole load of new units. However, the game is plagued with poor enemy AI and poor pathfinding. Okay, these are concerns. If you have these concerns, this is a legitimate reason to be unhappy with a game. Um, sometimes the units get stuck. Yeah, okay, that, that can happen. I've seen that happen. Um, mostly if you don't have line of sight to a place. The, the pathfinding doesn't give your units omnip like omniscience. So, like, if they cannot see the route... They won't take the most optimal route because they don't know it's there. It's, you gotta like think with portals here, guys. Um, <laughs> uh, problems with placing buildings near walls. Okay, that's true. That's to prevent you from getting your units stuck. Um, for new users, Titans should be the way to go. It represents the product uh, that EA and Early Access and Kickstarter backers were expecting. Um, okay, so that's that's fine. Uh, it makes sense. Yes, this is this is good game. Computer can't run it, so I'm refunding. But it's probably good like the original one, just with less FPS because of experimental. <laughs> because of experimental. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 mm, uh, it's exactly the same as the original game in terms of gameplay and everything, except for the 26 units that have been added. And the multi-level systems. Okay, we get a lot of game crashes. Um... I think the reason there's so much negativity, and my negativity included, is they kind of took all those people that gave them money on Steam for a game and threw them in the trash, like Penn Gillette. Uh, the, the irony of that the is that, that Penn Gillette put through... his partner in a garbage bag and filled it yeah. with helium. So that's uh, kind of a different thing, but okay. So now everyone's floating around in the garbage bag, like, what the fuck? Why can't I play this? <laughs> it's pretty interesting. Okay, well, that that was our reading Steam reviews segment. So thank you, everyone. I have one here for... for you. Oh God, 
Do you? This is a review for Daisy. <clears throat> oh. It's a Hold recommended on. review. How do I find this? It goes right? as follows. A guy with a cowboy hat begged me not to shoot him. Now I have a cowboy hat. Ten out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> what game is that? Daisy. Daisy. <laughs> is this the Daisy standalone? Yes. It's a really nice game so far. 47.8 hours on record. Oh, hey, I just saw in your stream that there's an advertisement for Darkest Dungeon. That Daisy really is a philosophical question posed as a game you can buy. The question is, when a developer already has your money, what is their motivation for ever delivering a finished game? <laughs> Mellow says, this game is so broken, even the bugs have bugs. Damn Dude says, by the time this game gets out of beta, I think we will have invented computers that can jack you off. I actually think that one came true, so that's like a prophecy inside a, a negative Steam review. Mm. Ah. Okay, I think we've all had quite enough of that. <laughs> I have started a game lobby. Let me go to for friends mode. Uh, let me go into my friends here. I only have one friend, and it's you, Jason. Mm. You're cordially invited. And then Steam... <laughs> and then my Steam client just disconnected. Ha 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 ha! Visit the store page of a game you own from looking at it. Yeah, Store. I would apply reason to this. I will be back in just a moment. I have to take a socks break to put socks on. <laughs> the nice part about doing laundry it's like the 20-30 minute period in between the loads of laundry where you just get to do nothing. But you still feel like you're being productive because your clothes are being washed. It's great. Everything else about washing laundry is garbage. It's like when you hate washing dishes and you want a dishwasher and you finally get a dishwasher and you're like, I'm gonna get so many dishes done. And then you're like, Fuck, I've got to load the dishwasher. <laughs> See, I actually dislike unloading the dishwasher more than loading the dishwasher. I'm fine with, like, scrubbing the stuff off and putting it in the dishwasher. I just don't like unloading the dishwasher. I don't know why that is, but for some reason, it's just, it's just a thing. I have returned. Now my feet are oh. warm. Yay. Oh, I've still got a bookmark for Groove Shark. Welcome back, SpaceCon. Yeah, we are going to be smashing, um, smashing some planets. Let's see here. Uh, I think Smash we still. Smash all of your planets. I think we've got several people who are still patching. So let's go ahead and initiate smash mode. Um. Oh, what do we got? Empty slots. It's Remove super trippy listening slots. to the stream and to the chat at the same time. Oh yeah, because I, I don't know what's what's real. <laughs> Is this the real life? <laughs> why why can't we start? Oh, because there's no title. Title. You just always feel like you're space. living in the future, like you're ten seconds in no? the future. Are you readied up? I don't know. Ah, here we go. Forward to battle. Choose start point. Oh, man. 
I want to go to William's Fist. Yummy. This is. So I just explained to some random dude's mom on Facebook the different, like, what sort are online and code Lyoko were. Uh. I don't envy you your task. Yeah. Because my friend posted this thing as a picture of the people from Code Lyoko, and it's like, before there was Sword Art Online, there was Code Lyoko. And this one, per this random old lady was like, and for this old, old fogey, what is SAO or Lyoko? Sounds legit. Like, <sighs> I basically said SAO stands for Sword Art Online, it's a TV show. Code Leo should have just said, they're my show. Chinese cartoons. Mm -hmm. Except one is French. So, I mean... Uh, like, well... One's not even Asian. But I basically said, this is what SAO means. It's a TV show. Code Leo is also a TV show. It came out before SAO. They have similar plots. Thus, the comparison. Period. And that's all I said. I'm not going to explain what the plots are. I'm just going to say that they're similar. Uh, Roger Dodger. It ain't about getting into trying to explain virtual reality MMOs to some random person I don't even know. I don't even think you could explain virtual reality MMOs to me if you tried. Probably not. Time to build an air factory. We are going to the sky. They have these little, like, robot conversations with each other as they're driving around. It's pretty interesting. anime girl and they received this is it bad that I'm looking at this and I'm reminded of this space age oh dear there's an enemy base and I am riding a fabricator through it that's normal um quick time to produce tanks I'm back what do you welcome mean? back we are um, we are playing Supreme Commander, but in the future. Mm -hmm. Commander in space. Ah, they're going orbital already. AI is very big on rushing orbital. They gave the Daily Show to some gentleman of color and played a Kanye West song to introduce him. Is it, Why? Uh, I don't understand. Is Did they play Kanye West because he's black and therefore he must like Kanye West? Or do yep. you think he just... Huh. Rip. 
Uh, that's kind of sad, isn't it? Just remember, it's a race war. What? <laughs> it's a race to war. Um, okay then. Uh, maybe I need to tell it to fire at will, and then... Man, I have the hardest time getting these lobs to actually operate. What are you doing, Kelly? He's Waiting for action. Planetary Annihilation, the actual game to install? Uh huh. They're making a new Frankenstein movie where Daniel Radcliffe plays. Igor. Uh, that oh. sounds like it'll be really good. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I think you might need visibility to the area that you're using the lob to attack. Everything's a learning experience. Yes, I am. I am discovering all of the things right now. Oh, look. Titanic themed jello shot. Why? Do you go to like put them in your mouth perfect. and then just slip and break apart and fall on the ground? Because they don't ever make it to their destination. Oh god. So did this person like carve them out or what? I think there will ever be 9 11 jello shots. I really hope not. <laughs> I really want one now. You want a 9-11 jello what? shot? That's what would make you happy. What, what's the cutoff for, like, terrible tragedy? When are you allowed well, to... I don't think there's, a like, a ago year. I uh, think South Park already talked about it. Uh, is that what happened? Well, that's because jet fuel can't melt steel beams. So. Uh-huh. I want a jet fuel can't melt steel beams themed jello shot. I feel like you guys are going to the wrong bars. <laughs> oh, I know what I need. I don't know. Like a radar, maybe? That might be a useful thing to have. Oh, God. Amphibious pitcher. What? What's an amphibious pitcher? It's a pitcher that functions both in and out of the water. Their autocorrect shows amphibious rather than ambidextrous. <laughs> I guess they just didn't know how to spell it, like, at all. Or maybe the person who wrote it is just really, really ignorant. God, you can get a guide horse instead of a guide dog. 
Huh. He's amazing. The guide pony. It's got little shoes for its hooves so it doesn't leave shit everywhere. Yeah. Amazing. Pretty good. I'm starting to become concerned that I have gotten distracted and I am not playing very effectively. That's what happens when you're in good company. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. So apparently Twitch has moved from Pokemon and is now playing Dark Souls. Oh good. This masochism just isn't enough anymore. Nope. <laughs> it's an alarm clock. That when it goes off, it like, fires three interestingly shaped pieces up into the air. And you have to find the pieces and then fit them back into their slots to turn off the alarm. Uh, welcome to hell. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I got a brisket. Well, half a brisket. Now I have to wait for the smoker to come tomorrow. Right? Is China exploding some more? I think it stopped exploding last I checked. It exploded... yesterday? I thought it was the day before. What was that? It was exploded by a man with a backpack. With a long nose and curly hair. Mm. Why? Why? I don't even know what you guys are talking about anymore. Some guy blew up a, like, IED somewhere in Bangkok. It's not in China. Bangkok what? is Thailand. Is it Thailand? Yes. Mm -hmm. My reading... No, it's in Then there was something in Beijing recently as well. Is it just everything over there is exploding? If you name it after with a B, then it's going to blow up, is what I'm hearing. Okay. I'm gonna quit this for now, because I gotta go to bed. Roger, Dodger. Get some rest. See you guys. Yeah. Welcome back, Maverick. Hello. Hello. But I mean, they're in most European, and I guess, well, I mean, in most European countries for the past 10 or 20 years, there have been periodic terrorist attacks, so I guess it happening in the Asian countries now is just normal. It's normal. I wouldn't worry Soft. about it. I saw some footage of those explosions. They were unsightly in their size. Oh, no, that wasn't the suicide bombing. That was the explosion. Suicide but... bombs are usually really small because people have to carry them on their persons. I missed the, uh, the, I was, my attention was elsewhere when you started talking about the suicide bombs. I was, my mind was still on the Chinese bombs. Explosions. They weren't. Oh, uh, I hear ya. I wonder what um, the largest scale. It was BBI apparently a huge amount of cyanide that went off in China. Yeah, like you could see in the footage, like there were like skyscrapers next to it, and the billows of flame were well above the ceilings of those, the roofs of those skyscrapers. I didn't know cyanide in large quantities was explosive. Uh, apparently so. I guess it's not that common. Well, it's uh, it's an witness. oxygenation agent. Um, it's, oh. That's why it's toxic to you, is because it will displace the oxygen from your hemoglobin. Mm. Hemoglobin, causing you to become dead. Um, Let's do it. I guess it's not that common for large quantities of cyanide to be in one place that anyone can see. Right. Because in the U.S., it's mostly just used in reclaiming gold, right? Um, 
I don't even know about that. I'm not sure how we use it in the United States. I mean, the primary use that I've ever heard of is in extracting gold from composite structures. So you can use it to, like, extract the gold from PCBs and shit like that. Interesting. Jewelers use it a lot for various things jewelers do, but people also use it for just home uh, gold reclamation. Just getting a bunch of, like, old circuit boards from, like, a place that's getting rid of a bunch of computers and extracting the gold and selling it. Cool. I don't know if it's ever really meant to be particularly profitable, but it's a hobby, I guess. Oh, there you go, Callie. These mortar tanks are pretty cool. Bop! Got one of them. Now all I need to worry about is all the other enemy commanders on all the other planets out there. <laughs> Going to need a lot more metal. These area commands are super useful. I can just scroll around to the other side of this planet and be like, whoop, build metal everywhere. And off they go, happily building metal. I'm not going to need this little mobile nuke anymore. I might just not build that. Uh, this is a black tank. That could be useful. Uh, I need to build some advanced tabs, though. Army up over here. Hey, I should probably get up. Deep Space Radar. Where are you? I don't see the Deep Space Radar anywhere. Where's the normal radar? It's here. This is the advanced radar. I think you might now need to build a deep space radar in space. Um, which is good, but also bad. <laughs> uh, go ahead and build an anti-nuke, since I'm probably going to be turtling. Also... Build some advanced radars so I don't get any surprises. I got my defenses shooting down something, that means that there are enemies here to be shooting down. bots running around in... I didn't realize these guys were amphibious. 
I, I don't think the news article realized that that picture was amphibious either. Uh, such topical <laughs> conversation. Uh, self-referential conversation. I am building all of the power plants. Uh, Tally, what's your ETA? Uh, like a minute. Cool. I'm still in this game, but I'm not married to it, so if it ends pretty quick, like, then that'll be good. Well, I promised planet smashing, so I kind of need to be good to my word. Let me build some Delta Fives on here, and we'll just fly this planet into another planet. Uh, 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 is this planet not cra smashable? I think this planet might be immune to smashing. I'm just not producing enough metal to initiate a smashing attempt. Yeah. Going to need more metal. Let's save my setting from another game. Did it or did it not? It did. Oh, good. Which I find hilarious. Because it's a different game. Mm -hmm. There's a setting here for pull lock. What does that mean? Do you click it and suddenly you're from the other Poland? game is in this? There's just an option in the settings menu where you can switch it to the old game. Uh huh. Yeah, there's got to be some sort of like a business rationale for why they've done it this way. Oh yeah, you can just build star systems to fight in. Remember I made that jousting that jousting moon mm -hmm. system? And then somebody tried to planet smash and accidentally flew the planet we were both on into the sun and killed mm -hmm. us all? It was so good. Okay, I wonder if I can build a Delta Delta Five now. Is there co-op yet? Or are they never planning on having co-op? Uh, like a co-op com campaign? Yeah. I don't know the answer to that question. Oh, I think when Jason disconnected, his forces became the enemy. Oh. Can't actually tell if they're the enemy or not. Those guys are the enemy. I better go kill them. I like this, this Steam announcement they did where it's like, Surprise! Planetary Annihilation just got Titanic! Is that too soon?
Galactic War. I hope this upcoming Frankenstein movie actually portrays Frankenstein's monster as the intelligent creature that he was. Right. I do too. And they have that. That was the real awesome. horror of the Frank of Frankenstein's monster was that it was a thinking, breathing, sentient being that was forced into existence and then hated. You know. Yeah. It, it wasn't just like a horror villain. Right. In Bram Stoker's Frankenstein. I think I don't really care if I got his name. Um, I'll look it up later. Um, the horror from his Frankenstein's monster came from the fact that it was so obscenely strong. Oh and gosh! Was, uh, we're, I um well. Uh, okay. Good bad. Uh, <laughs> One of the AI smashed my planet. So I promised that planets would smash, and here they are, smashed into tiny pieces. Um, it's just that I wasn't the one doing the smashing. I just got squeezed. Because um, I couldn't figure out how to build a deep space radar fast enough. You have been annihilated. Oh my my, look at the time. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Uh, Galactic War. Um, Mechanica, difficulty normal. Uh, how to play? No. Go to war. Greetings, Commander. Much has been lost since the reawakening. Others have come online, like you, Commander. What am I watching? Find the others. Rip apart their planets. Start the spread of other factions. And annihilate them. What's the server you're on? I am currently attempting to determine if you can co-op Galactic oh. War, but it looks like you cannot. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to exit, and then it's like I'm all going the to servers host the server. except for one are running the old game. <laughs> really? You're right. Okay, I'm creating a server. I've created a server. Set to friends. Set my colors. Armies. Login accepted. Why? I'm so very red. You are very red. Do you want to be red? Uh, I'll do like this and highlight it with some. Uh... This video tickles my political oh. correctness. Oh my. Hello. Oh. It's my alert to pick up my wife at the airport, but I don't have to. Uh, it sounds like a play on words, like a pun. So punny. Alright, forward on to the breach. Oh, I didn't pick one of the fun systems. I just used the crummy boon system. That's okay. Uh, so I can land there, and that's it, huh? Yeah, I think on these little crummy systems, you only really get one pick. So, there's only one planet here, 
so we're all gonna be on this planet fighting for resources okay. basically out of the gate. So you should probably build a bot factory and just immediately start building skirmishing units. This might be a good time to use uh, mine bots. Okay, have we spotted any enemies yet? Oh, so we have. So an interesting thing about the, uh, about the docks is that it's amphibious and it can attack everything. So in large enough groups, uh, they're effective against basically any kind of target. Uh, pretty handy. Oop, okay. Enemy sighted. Where? Oh, that's you. You're black. I don't see them. There's a select idle fabbers option. Here we go. That was a noise. I don't know what that noise was. Like someone using a discharge can. Oh, it might have been my, uh, my. I've just built a, te a spark bot that I guess fires a bolt of electricity as its weapon. So, it could be that. Oh dear god, I've countered a teleporting bug. Just kind of disturbing. I'm back. 
Well, we'll shooting, back. scouting. Yeah. I've got an army kind of wandering. Oh wow, that's uh, an interesting thing that's happening over there. Is this you? This is you. I just wiped out a red battle. Pretty good. Oh god, you can make nanobot swarms. How do you... Mm, I need to repair something. Uh, you need a combat fabrication bot. Oh. Uh, it will repair all of the things. I'll take out his point defense. Have we found his base? Oh, there it is. That's a lot of point defense. He's also shooting you with bots as well. Problematic. I've got a I've got an army making its way over there. How's that going? It's going. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna very rapidly find myself needing much more metal than I'm currently producing. User joined your channel. Not too bad, huh? Oh. What we find today, Trent? Hello! Today we are playing Planetary Annihilation. Titans. Yes. So it's Supreme Commander, basically. Die. There's a new unit that is a flying support platform. That, uh, what kind uh, of support? Has, it repairs and it has CIWS on it. Ah, cool. What kind of projectiles can it intercept? Homing missile. Engaging an 
I am very resource limited right now. I should have teched up my economy before I did. Gotta make sure you can commit before you commit. Uh, you what, mate? <laughs> hey Trent, did you ever see I'm very this like, happen? Uh, too strong. <laughs> Angel is OP, please enough. I don't even see what you're doing right now. I'm coming to bring you angels. Oh god. There you go. Watch what happens when they start shooting missiles at me. Nope. 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 They're trying to shoot down his gunships, but they don't have any flak. And because they don't have any flak, everything they try to shoot at his gunships gets intercepted by this little hovering laser phallus. The angel, oh, why? Well, I guess I can come repair you. You don't need repair. So make two angels so they can repair each other, and then you're unstoppable. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just saw that. Oh man. That's so... I don't know about you, but I'm having some serious problems, uh... Annoying. I'm having some serious problems, uh, getting metal. Am I uh, the only one? I'm, I'm working on it. I'm upgrading my shop. Oh, Most simplest. The grammar is strong with this one. Mm, mm, mm. They sent in air superiority, superiority fighters, and they loosed missiles. And the angel was like, bzz, bzz, bzz. Uh. Oh. <laughs> "Okay." Stop shooting those. Stop that. <laughs> oh god, no. I just saw the thing that I called the safe place to soldier running into the building just to trip over some ceiling. Just 
face plants into the ground. Forces are taking fire. I don't know about you, but I'm having a hard time with this. I'm doing all right. I'll, I'll be there sometime. I, I would like to expand my economy, but any time something leaves the vicinity of the angels, it explodes. <laughs> so. I'm having a similar problem right now. I'm going to have to go find paint. And just I'm trying to upgrade this... Uh, the cake. I'm trying to upgrade this mass extractor, but it keeps disintegrating. Hmm. Oh, if you don't have a unit building something, it just starts to melt. So you can't mm -hmm. partially build a structure and then leave it there. You know what we need? We need to start lying ma minefields everywhere. Is there only one? Uh, is there like one Titan per type of structure or something? Uh, possibly. So the only Titan I can build destroys the planet it's built on. Uh, that might not be super useful to us right now. Uh, Just a thought.
<laughs> I'm, I have discovered um, this treasure trove of ridiculousness. Tommy Wiseau's Twitter account. Do you know who Tommy Wiseau is? I do not. Have you heard of a little movie called The Room? Yes. He was the writer, director, and star of that movie. Yeah. What's he doing now? Um, a horrible thing on YouTube called The Tommy Y Show. Mm -hmm. Which you should... If, if you want your daily dose of cringe, go, go look that up. Um, I'll post a link to one of them because I'm that, that nice. The Tommy Y Show. Instead of Tommy Wiseau, get it? Because it's it's a pun. Mm -hmm. Tommy Wiseau, Dark Souls. It's basically a let's play of him in this like really really crappy set. Sounds legit. Playing video games that he obviously knows nothing about. That sounds like what I'm doing. <laughs> 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 so are you saying that you are Tommy Wiseau? Uh, no. But you could make your very own Tommy Wiseau show. I was watching your angels while you flew your gunships directly over the enemy base. Mm -hmm. I had to pull them back because I don't have any actual anti-air in this formation, so... I'm making some superiority fighters. I'm uh I'm covering the entire map in minefields. That works. So I have a question. What do you do when you detect that a planet is flying towards your planet? What do you uh, do about it? cry. Uh, you can try to fly to that planet, and ins and destroy the engines that are pushing it toward your planet. And if you can do that in time, you might be able to save yourself. Does that answer your question? Yeah. And that's kind of the only thing you can do? Yeah, basically. <clears throat> My friend just described Tommy Wiseau as Jaden Smith if he was more happy and knew less English. Eesh. I don't even know who that's a burn on. <clears throat> but it's on somebody. It's just a burn. Just, just general burn. Like, like, listen to this piece of gold from Tommy Wiseau. Yesterday was birthday. Today is my celebrate with you. Mm. That seems normal. <laughs> Uh, it might be time to build better anti-aircraft. I'm finding. The weather outside is really aircraft right now. <laughs> he tweeted the letter R. Just, just the capital R. That's it. Okay. What is... That's a lot of mines. Yeah, uh... I'm doing a lot of mines right now. I've got, like, TIE Fighter things. <laughs> Pretty legit. Here, let me give you some repairs. I'm becoming very concerned that the, uh, enemy is going to generate some kind of a super weapon that destroys the entire planet with a total disregard for its own survival. Oh. It's a possibility. This seems very likely to me right now. So I'm being very annoying and shooting all of his income. Motherfucker. Gunships can fly sideways and sh Lol. keep shooting at you. Be 
because they're special. Oh my. Hello. Was that yours? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm not saying angels are OP, but angels are OP. I'm not saying minefields <laughs> everywhere, but I'm putting minefields everywhere. Oh. Now this, are minefields visible by the opponent? Only if they have combat fabbers. Oh, when the enemy has flak, the angels just repair faster than they can DPS. Mm. Balance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at all this money this guy has sunk into all these things I'm blowing up. Mm. Blatant. Impunity. He's got like a little faber bot down there, like me, me, me. Oh god, cannot repair fast enough. You have entirely too many facilities, sir. Oh my god! What? <laughs> Just the the pew 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 I don't give a shit look at the tick 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 Those two missile turrets are just they're gonna melt if you keep firing at that rate. <laughs> oh, that's so broke. <laughs> One of them's not even engaging. Ellie, I'm go. concerned that you might not be following the rules of the game. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I paid them twice. I get broken units. Uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> I'm gonna start filling your base with landmines. I hope that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'm killing Peptabismol over here. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you only have three gunships shooting, the rest are just hovering there. Uh, you're like, I don't... I'm getting exhausted. <laughs> so much killing. <clears throat> I'm gonna go step on them a little bit. That works. Okay, let's back off and repair our meager damage. Hello. I heard you liked being alive, so I've come to <clears throat> help you. Do the shoulder cannons do something? I, those aren't cannons, those are intakes or something. Oh, so he just goes stompy stomp? Yeah, he just steps on everything. I'll come help. Actually, I'll stay away from their commander. Still going to be academic in a minute. Footsteps OP. Yep. That was a very Fuck special that. adventure. Stompy stomp started wow. happening. View stats. Okay, let's view the stats. The stats. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that's fine. I'm having a hard time reading these stats. Oh, total units. Okay, build efficiency. Oh god. Um, <laughs> My build efficiency. <laughs> I don't uh. know. I'm having trouble interpreting this into something that is meaningful and useful. Uh, I was the most efficient, and then I wasn't for a while. I was the least efficient. But then I went back up to being... That's the I gap, wasted almost nothing. 
but I also had huge amounts of demand always. Oh no, I wasted large amounts of energy for short periods of time. You built more fabbers than I- no, Pink built more fabbers than I did. Metal wasted, yeah! <clears throat> Look at that wasted metal. I don't give a fuck. And it's in combat. Unit build rate. Unit loss rate. Metal destruction rate. Oh god, Cam <laughs> oh command god. rate is just your APMs. Look at those robot APMs. So very <laughs> high. That's pretty good. <laughs> here's, a, uh, here's a quote from Tommy Wiseau. Here's a quotable. No one is black or white. Everyone is red, blue, and white. I love America. Thank you, USA. <laughs> this, oh, the... so this guy. This guy. So this is alright. I'm okay with this. I don't have any problems with this. <laughs> the most patriotic people I have ever met are like first generation Americans. Nobody knows where Tommy Wiseau is from. Like, from. like the middle like, of nowhere. Nobody can pinpoot his like his ethnical identity based upon his features or his accent. Like he's just an enigma. I don't know if that and and then oh wow that guy got taken out by a piece of like roofing. What what is he? He's like <clears throat> It's Danzig. He's Mac Danzig. Mm. Wherever Danzig's from, this guy's from there. Uh, awesome. Kulseg, are you gonna join us? Kulseg? There is no Kulseg, only Zul. He said he was going to AFK for a bit. Ah. Uh, uh, Tally, do you want to continue to planetary annihilate, or do you want to give something else a shot for a while? Uh, for whatever. Uh, do you he have War Thunder, Dinkle? He says he grew up in New Orleans. Do you have War Thunder, Dinkle? I do have War Thunder. No. Um, uh... However, I'm... I might be able to play a game. Actually, I don't... Somebody's coming over to... look at my room. Ah, uh, you got a Because they're, they're potentially moving in when I move out. Um, mm. I still have a little bit of straightening up to do. But once they leave, I'll be free to free to play. Okay, okay. Well, I so kind of want to see. see. I, I kind of want to wait so. till we can get everybody in on the planetary annihilation before we mm. dig too much farther into that. So, uh, thanks for tuning in, everybody who who joined us on Twitch. That was planetary annihilation. We smashed some planets. We had a good time. Um, everything proceeded as normal. Um, <laughs>